In this tutorial, we will learn about AI crop features in Capture One Pro and Capture One Studio. Capture One Pro features a simplified but powerful implementation of AI crop, whilst Capture One Studio has additional margin and alignment tools for ultimate precision, plus the ability to save AI crop presets. The first part of this tutorial will look at the simplified options available in Capture One Pro before we move on to Capture One Studio. AI crop can be used for both still life objects and people. In this first example, I'll begin by setting my aspect ratio and set my crop accordingly on my first image. Click Set as Reference in the Crop tool here. Select Further Images and click Apply Reference. The aspect ratio of the crop reference will be kept and automatically cropped to position the face in a similar position as on the reference image. In this second example with the still life object, the reference has been set on the first image already. Clicking apply reference as before will crop as follows. Once again, the aspect ratio of the crop reference will be kept and automatically cropped to frame the subject in a similar position and relative size as on the reference image. In both examples, when a crop reference has been set, AI crop can be applied during tethered capture through the Next Capture Adjustments tool. Subsequent captures are now cropped accordingly. In Capture On Studio, AI crop has a dedicated tool found in the Shape tool tab by default. Three tabs within the tool offer a variety of functionality. Let's start with the Subject tab, which is best for products or full body images. Subjects are detected within the image with control of constraints, margins and alignment. Let's take a look on this following series of images. I'll begin by choosing my aspect ratio and set my constraint. The first two fix either the left and right or top and bottom margins with flexible values for the remainder. The third option fixes margins on all sides, but the aspect ratio will be flexible. The final option enables a consistent crop between tall and wide subjects while keeping the aspect ratio fixed. In this example, I want to constrain my top and bottom margins. Checking Show Crop Rules will visualize the current set of rules in the viewer. This can be helpful to understand how the cropping will work. I also want to align my subject in the middle of the crop. Next, I'll set my crop on the image. The margins will update when manually changing the crop. For precision, set the margins directly here. I'm happy with the alignment, so I'll set this as the reference and apply to my other images. When a crop reference has been set, AI crop can be applied during tethered capture through the Next Capture Adjustments tool. Subsequent captures are now cropped accordingly. The Face tab is optimized for portraits, headshots and group shots. First I'll set my aspect ratio and crop my reference image. And set this as reference. Check Show Detected Faces to visualize in the viewer. And apply to my remaining images. The Auto tab automatically chooses the mode based on image content. This mode will keep the aspect ratio of the reference and automatically detect whether to use subject or face. It will ensure a consistent crop between wide and tall subjects. The feature set is identical to what was shown for Capture One Pro at the start of this tutorial. Finally, instantly recall any AI crop settings by saving it as a preset.
These can also be set as shortcuts in the keyboard shortcut editor.